This is a little video of the um, the samples I wrote from the, the user manual. Um, they're pretty strongly based off them. Um, for the color Maximite 2. I wrote um, a program that draws arcs, which I'm not really sure when I'll use an arc in one of my programs unless I'm doing like a graphing program or a spreadsheet or something. Um, but they're nice arcs. You can specify what two radiuses. Um, some other things I don't understand. <laughs> um, here's the source code. Um, it takes the vertical resolution mm.vres and mm.hres and stores them into integers, which I assume is faster than calling these. Maybe these are just constants and it runs the same whether you, whether you store it in an integer or not. Um, uh, it generates random numbers uh, based on the max x resolution, max y resolution, and uh, I think these are r1, r2, and something else. Um, and then the RGB function will produce um, basically numbers up to 16 million to re represent the colors you want. Um, it's random. It's random uh, times 255 three times for R, G, and B, red, green, and blue. And then these are in do loops. You know, do starts starts the loop and loop finishes the loop. This is box bass, which, as you might guess, draws boxes. And as you might be able to see, if you pause the video and it's recording fast enough, the box has a fill color, and it also has a different color parameter for the outline around the box. And control C stops the program. And uh, same thing, you know, I kind of cache the values for H -re horizontal res and vertical resolution of the monitor. Uh, random number for X and Y, and then random number for width and height, or height and width, I forget. Um, see and then a fill color one, one of these is fill color and the other one's uh the outline color i had a circle drawing program but i messed it up because i saved a different program for it so so there's no circle program uh an mp3 player which i don't think i can play the mp3 because it's not mine but i, I just used that winamp tune that played when you would start Winamp. Uh, edit. You just do play, play mp3 and then a string with the name of the mp3 file you want to play. Uh, there's play tone, which makes no sound because I turned down the speakers. Oh, way down, wow. Well, maybe we'll hear something. If we don't, that's okay. It's not a great tone. <laughs> play tone. And I think there's, you can play two tones at once. See, this is like the first tone and the second tone and then the duration. And, hmm, well, that was quick. Uh, sure you, I heard a tone last night. <laughs> There's no error message, so I'm sure it's doing something. Uh, R box. You can draw boxes with rounded corners. Um, and there are boxes with rounded corners. And the command for that is just R box. And uh, I believe this is the how much you want to round the corner. Um, probably can go higher than 16. I, I don't remember what the max is. Um, and then a, there's a fill color and an outline color. There's speech. I wrote speech pass that uses the TTS command. I guess that's text to speech, but it didn't work for me. I don't know. Maybe they're still working on that function. And there's texty that I wrote right through who lots of times. One thing to note here, um, 
is that there are actually different fonts and different sizes you can print in, which is kind of neat. I, when I've used, when I use like the Apple II and QBasic on DOS, there's just the DOS font and that's it. But with this, you can make your own custom fonts and you can scale them and all sorts of things. One result of this, I think, is that it renders more slow. I mean, this is hard to call slow, but when you have a longer string to print, it obviously takes longer. Um, but it's pretty darn fancy compared to, you know, exactly one font. And then, the, of course, your choices of colors is way beyond, you know, like MS-DOS, where it's 16 colors. Um, And then control C stops it. I'll show you the code. You can also set the background color for the text. Um, let's see. Oh, scaled text. Uh, I think the. I I remember. Oh, this the max scale was 15. It was 1 to 15, I think. So I just add one to the random number of 0 to 14. Uh, let's see. Oh, and it's a text command that prints the text. Basically what, I mean, there's also a print command, but print just prints where the cursor happens to be. But with the text command, you can set the X, Y position of the text that you're going to print. So you can go, you know, it's kind of like using the locate command in QBasic, but it's sort of all integrated where you locate and you send the text as well and set the colors. Probably, probably faster than QBasic having to interpret multiple commands for to do one thing. Triangle. This draws triangles. <laughs> and there's a fill color and an outline color. I think it would be kind of cool to do a um, early 90s console era space shooter with these triangles. I mean, I guess you'd have to make your own engine, but you could possibly do that a sort of 3D thing. I don't know how fast it would run, but I've seen the demos. And then there's the turtle command, which I have heard no one speak of, but it's in the manual. You can, you can, you can, you know how you could use turtle to draw things, go up, you know, go let, go a certain degrees left and right. Well, they've got a turtle command, um, so you can, you can do that too. I've got turtle forward 10, turtle turn left 45, turtle forward 10, it's not very creative, turtle turn left 45. <laughs> so you can turn, go forward. Um, draw the turtle itself, draw circles, all that sort of thing. So, let's see, what are my thoughts? Well, uh, it's pretty neat. Um, it's all mostly on one chip. One thing I found is I can type faster than it can read the letters. Um, but I've just learned to sort of type slower and then I don't have... Because like, like I'll try and type the word files. So, like, it missed the E, but it got everything else. And I'm using um, a buckling spring keyboard, so I know I've pressed every key. It's just that I hit them too fast. Is that the end of the world? Well, it's a. I think for it's an okay trade-off given how much speed you have, how many commands you have, everything else. Um, and the colored, colored editor. I was thinking maybe if I turn off the color... Um, color highlighting in the code, maybe the it would render the text faster, but I don't know, the, having the code colored is pretty darn handy, so <laughs> I'll just type a little slower. But um, once you figure out the kind of the typing speed that it can accept characters at, it's okay, I think. Um, anyway, that's my video. Hopefully I'll have better programs than this in the future. <laughs>